Should you play Omnifactory? The Omnifactory mod pack is a 1.12 mod pack by Damien Reeve. Links are, of course, in the description. Omnifactory is mainly based around the Greg Tech Community Edition. Now, Greg Tech might be a word that mm, makes you a bit worried, as it is synonymous with grind. But this mod pack has tried to remove a lot of the grind, but aims to keep the complexity. You start off in the Lost Cities, but you can also go uh, to a Void World, and you're not locked into either choice, which I think is a great touch. The beginning is pretty great as you get one of these scanners which works thusly. There you go, and it shows you where all veins are located. It means you don't have to scrabble around so much at the beginning. Again, that's one of those grind reducing measures. And it should last you quite enough time in order to set up your own power generation, which is, I think, pretty great. Also, if you decide to stay in the Lost Cities, you will get these four diamond mining hammers which is pretty amazing as well. These are going to be very useful uh, to begin with. The quest book is very well laid out. You can see that all the quests flow naturally into each other. Uh, I think I think that's great because sometimes you end up doing quests that maybe you don't really need. You know, you end up crafting like every machine in a mod and you never end up using them. These all flow into one another, which I think is really rather great. Look at that. Um, it's also not combat based, which I think is great. You could even play it in peaceful mode, apparently, which I think is brilliant. Now, the main crux of the, of the gameplay is building machines using both Greg Tech and these modular machines. So this pack uses modular machines as one of the core concepts alongside Greg Tech machines. And what modular machines does as a mod, it allows the mod maker to make their own machines basically using you know different recipes so here we have um you can see the small microverse projector and you can get a blueprint with that so if you look at the blueprint you can see this is what it does and it shows you how to build it which is uh which is rather cool so what this does is you can see it's missing input items and this is basically another way or this is like a quarry it's like a quarry, basically. So I've got some rocket fuel in there. Uh, that can go in there. Quantum flux. That will now do its thing. And you can see the progress bar is done. And once it is done, uh, what you will get is a specific set of... Um, you, you will get all of these things. You won't get like you know, a few of these things. You will literally get this exact amount of things, which is quite, again interesting very different i've never seen that before uh, and it goes up to tier eight look at that all quite insane um and each one has like a different a different blueprint and you can actually see there are a few different machines so there's one there you go one for a reactor naquada reactor nice stargate reference uh air distillation and then uh, more reactors and more microverse projectors, which I think is rather great. And let's have a look. It should all be in here. And there you go. How great is that? I, I really like that. That's quite cool. Um, and again, it's just nice to see something different like that in a mod pack. You get fairly early access to Applied Energistics 2, which again, reduces the grind. But be aware that even though this pack has less grind than most packs with Greg Tech related uh, mods, this does contain its fair share of microcrafting. Uh, microcrafting is like lots of nested recipes. So lots of little recipes to make one thing, and then you need to make another few with that thing. And then, you know, it just, there's a lot of little recipes to make one bigger thing, basically. That's microcrafting. Uh, so you want to get your auto crafting set up as soon as possible. You can see uh, here you're getting in to um, AE2 right in the early game, which I think is pretty great. If you look at the mid game, uh, late game, end game. And then we have Ye Oldish Coin Shoppy. And uh, now this is basically where you can buy materials that you might not find anywhere near you. Now, I personally think things like this should be implemented in mod packs more often. I've you know, I've played some mod packs where the quest is like, you know, go get yourself an acacia sapling, but you happen to spawn somewhere where there aren't any acacia saplings or any acacia trees near, so you have to go and find one. And stuff like that isn't hard. It is just a little bit tedious. You know, you just, it's just luck. It's purely luck based. So I think it's nice that these, this shop again, 
reduces the kind of grindiness of that. Now, I'm not saying that there's no grind in this mod pack. I think there is still a bit. But compared to a lot of these types of mod packs, I think it, I can see that they've done a lot to reduce a lot of it, which I think is great because grind, to me at least, doesn't improve gameplay. It's the complexity that does and options, which I think this mod pack has plenty of. Now, I will say the end game is maybe a little bit disappointing to see uh, things like Avarisha and Draconic Evolution. I'm personally a bit tired of seeing those kind of mods at the end game stages, but it does do it by changing the recipes quite a lot. If you look at the Draconium block, you can see you need a fluid solidifier, which is made from Draconium and the mold. And Draconium itself is also made from different things. There's been some, there you go, Molten Awakened Draconium. So there's been a few different changes in how the end game is played out, which I do appreciate. So at least there's, you know, whilst maybe a bit disappointing to see uh, Draconic, at least there have been a few changes in how to get there, which again, I appreciate. So should you play Omnifactory. Well, I guess if you're looking for maybe an expert style pack that features a, you know, a lot of machine based, um, like technology based, if you like making, you know, intricate machines, then I think this might be worthy of playing. If you've always wanted to have a go at a Greg Tech style mod pack, but have always been put off by the grind, then this could very well be the one, you know, the one mod pack that you should try to play. Um, so I, if you don't like a lot of micro crafting and, you know, setting up a lot of different machines isn't your thing, if you prefer exploration, for instance, then this is not the pack for you. I think it's a very well put together pack. I'm very impressed with it. And I really enjoy like the new things like the micro universes using all of this stuff and the modular machines. I think it's done a lot to make this you uh, like mod pack unique. Uh, and I, I think that's very, very well done. So definitely give it a go if you fancy it. But otherwise, I've been Hector. This has been Should You Play Omnifactory, and I will hopefully uh, see you in another one of these at some point. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>